Life of it. Dads are dads entertainment. Yeah. I just said dads. Check. Yeah. Well, well. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> Cause this is the life of a dads. I'm a father in the game like a dad. And I'ma show you the ropes like your dad. What, 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 what? The life of dads. <laughs> Yeah, this is the life of a dad. Tell him. Tell I'm him. a father in the game like a dad. Uh-huh. And I'ma show you the ropes like your dad. What, 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 what yeah. life of Hello, dads. sons and daughters. I'm your long lost father. This is what I do. Yo, what up, guys? This is Lord Hi, the Dads from the Dad Life YouTube channel. And you don't know. Today we're hitting the serious topics. You don't know some serious topics today. What do people them feel like? You don't know where to hit up some of the dreadlock topics, them. Alright. You don't know, today we're hitting the top 10 myths about dreadlocks debunked. You don't know, dreadlocks is a very culturally rich lifestyle. It's a very unique hairstyle and it has a lot of misconceptions, yo. So, we're going to debunk a lot of the misconceptions, a lot of the lies, a lot of the fakery. So you don't know, we're hitting them up, all the misconceptions about dreadlocks and we want you to make sure so you're liking and you're subscribing to the YouTube channel, you share the videos, and you make sure you leave the comments about what you want to hear about, any new topics you want me to touch. You make sure you link up, you make sure you tell me what I want. You don't know, big up on yourself. This is Lord Hyde Dad from the Dad's Life YouTube channel, and today we're dealing with the top 10 myths about dreadlocks debunked. Alright? So you ready? Let's go. Number one misconception of dreadlocks is that dreadlocks are dirty. Dreadlocks being dirty is a misconception because the thought process of you having dreadlocks is that you are not actually maintaining yourself. You are actually not washing your hair, which is not true. I've actually known a lot of people that when you look, they have short hair, not dreadlocks, not cane row not none of that and their hair are, is actually pretty dirty they are not actually maintaining themselves properly i think it's more about hygiene and the person's hygiene than actually dreadlocks so that is a misconception dreadlocks actually take a lot of care and most people that have dreadlocks actually doing a lot to keep their dreadlocks healthy including scalp health including washing their hair regularly so it doesn't get a lot of build up so it takes a lot of care to have dreadlocks so that is a misconception that dreadlocks are dirty the second misconception is that dreadlocks take years to form well I've actually seen some people get instant dreadlocks that means they go to the hairdresser or they go to the loctician and they get the dreadlocks done almost immediately so it's done in a day based on their hair length or you can actually naturally lock your hair and sometimes it can lock in within two weeks so that is a misconception that dreadlocks take years to form no it does not it can take those two weeks it can be done instantly at a loctician so that is a misconception it actually more go with your hair length than actually anything else are talking about um, how long it takes to farm and how long it takes to lock some people here texture is easier to lock than some Caucasian people actually sometimes they get locks and it pull out easily and then you have people from the African descent where they're here easily locked because it's easily matted so it is a mixed conception that your hair can take years to lock so that is not true Number three is that dreadlocks are unprofessional. Dreadlocks being unprofessional is one of the big misconceptions. When you look at it in this, especially in this generation, dreadlocks has more become professional than ever before. Doctors are, have dreadlocks, nurses have dreadlocks, lawyers have dreadlocks. The amount of people and professional people that work in the professional work environment that have dreadlocks nowadays in the corporate world all over the world in jamaica in america in the uk all over the world you have professional people with dreadlocks so number three dreadlocks are unprofessional is not true dreadlocks has now become more professional than ever before it is now possible and a lot of more employers 
are actually easier to employ people with dreadlocks is more understood now actually employers themselves having dreadlocks and easier to um take people on that have dreadlocks and do interviews with people with dreadlocks in the generation before dreadlocks was actually so hated upon that nobody wanted you to be in the corporate world with dreadlocks or dreadlocks people felt ostracized from the corporate world but that's not so anymore when you look you have ceos with dreadlocks and the visibility of dreadlocks and who has it has also made people more open to it so dreadlocks being unprofessional number three is one of them again that is a misconception we are debunking that today that's not true actually dreadlocks has become more professional than ever before in this generation number four is that you can't change your hairstyle if you have dreadlocks based on misconceptions people think that if you have dreadlocks you can't change your hairstyle actually people with dreadlocks have been experimenting a lot they've been experimenting with updos with braids with different colors um to dress it up to dress it down to look more funky a lot of different looks so that is also a misconception you can look gq with dreadlocks because it's well styled you can look so many different ways i've seen mohawks with dreadlocks i've seen fades with dreadlocks i've seen braided dreadlocks i've seen updos i've seen so many looks with dreadlocks it's incredible and i love all of them very unique style very unique expression so that's not true when you think about it these days and um, there's so many styles with dreadlocks if you look up dreadlock styles you can see a million styles with dreadlocks so look out for it this is this is debunked dreadlocks have many different styles and you can do many different looks with dreadlocks number five dreadlocks are only for black people now that's not true dreadlocks have a very culturally rich uh, ancestry and they are worn by many different cultures many different nations many different ethnicities I've seen um, some of the best dreadlocks on Caucasians and black people and Chinese people unique styles mixed hair all kind of different looks people from the UK people from America people from the Caribbean so it is not true this is debunked it's not just for black people it's actually for everybody everybody is doing dreadlocks in this era and we love to see it because I always say whenever something becomes something that everybody does it's more culturally accepted it, it easily become more professional as we said in the earlier one it become more accepted by parents by people by employers by everybody so we love to see everybody doing dreadlocks asian people we love to see white people caucasian people we love to see people from the um european descent we love to see people from the caribbean we love to see people from india all over so that is debunked that is not true right six is that you cannot swim with dreadlocks number six is that you can't swim with dreadlocks I, now this is crazy all right i know a lot of people that they're actually professional swimmers i know a lot of people that they actually swim a lot they actually live in on the islands and they swim very regularly with dreadlocks i know professional surfers that have dreadlocks i know all these people that have dreadlocks and they swim very regularly now the misconception is that you can't swim with dreadlocks no the care it takes to dry your dreadlocks properly is a different thing but you can't swim with dreadlocks that's crazy no that's not true you can always swim with your dreadlocks you can always get your dreadlocks wet in fact most people love to swim with them dreadlocks most people with dreadlocks actually have a very active lifestyle where they swim a lot where they surfing when they're in the water a lot when they, they so it, it's crazy so the, that's debunked yo so you don't know that's not true you can swim with dreadlocks as much as you want so that's not true so that's debunked seven dreadlocks are a sign of a certain lifestyle now usually when they see you with dreadlocks 
they think that you're either a stoner, they think that you're either a rasta, they think that you're from the punk rock scene. It does not have to be that. A lot of people I know just love the hairstyle. They actually love the natural hairstyle. A lot of people from the black descent, they just love the naturalist hairstyle. They love the fact that they are not putting any chemicals in their hair. They love the fact that their hair is in its natural form. And that is debunking that. What they thought was that dreadlocks are a sign of a certain lifestyle. That's not true. You can be from any walk of life with dreadlocks. So it is not true. That is debunked. Alright? Number eight is that dreadlocks attract lice. Now this is crazy people. They think that dreadlocks attract lice. When? If you look at it, a lot of Caucasian white people with straight hair have lice. That just means that it's about more hygiene. It's about more socialization and who you are around. I know a lot of people... How they get lice is actually more because their kids go to school and socialize and actually get lice and then they get lice. So it's not about dreadlocks. I've actually known a lot of people with dreadlocks who have never had lice. They have long dreadlocks. They have had dreadlocks for years and they have never had lice. So that is fully untrue. That, that's one of the most untrue ones and people actually think that it's real. It's not true. That's not true at all. So that's debunked, right? Number nine is that you can't cut your hair if you have dreadlocks. Now, how could you not cut, can cut your hair? Everybody has the choice to do whatever they want, whatever style they want. I myself have cut my hair about three different times. And I grow back my locks. And I've seen my, there's different, different people. I've seen cut their locks. And they have actually put the same locks back in. And this is one of the new um, things that's happening. People cut their locks and then they put it right back in when they grow their hair. So it's like they took a break from it. So what they did, they cut it and then they grow it out back and then they get a specialized lactation to put it back in. So you can cut your hair as much times as you want. Sometimes I hear people say their scalp needed a break. There was a sister in her mind, she cut her locks, she kept them. And when she was putting them in, she got them washed, refurbished, and put them back onto her head. And it was, it, they looked actually like she had never cut them. So it almost looked like she picked up where she left off. So you can cut your locks as you please. So that is number nine. You can cut your hair as much as you want. It's not looked down upon. It's not nothing like that. Because sometimes, as you say, it could be for health purposes. It could be for um, trying to get your scalp back in um, best health. It could be that you... I've seen people cut their locks because of the weight. You have to be careful. Sometimes I've seen people have neck problems because the locks is too thick and too heavy, too long. Causing neck problems, causing health problems. So be careful of that. Even causing headaches. So... You can cut your locks as much as you want, so that is not true. You can cut your locks if you feel like. That's a personal decision. Now, this is crazy. Um, I think haircuts and hairstyles different than locks are harder to maintain. Why? Because if you look at it, dreadlocks are easier to maintain because it's a natural hairstyle. If you're maintaining your locks regularly, you might have the problems of going to the lactation every now and again and getting them relocked or getting them palm rolled. But dreadlocks are actually easy to maintain. It's one of the easiest hairstyles to maintain because you can actually keep your hair in natural form. It's just locking, it's just growing, and you're actually just washing it and just making sure you're keeping it clean, making sure you're keeping it oiled. And that is it. So that is, it's one of the easiest main hairstyles to maintain. So that is not true. So you know, say so definitely you can keep your hair locked easier than even how you keep your hair cane rows. I've seen people, my friends that have cane rows, they have to pull it out every maybe two weeks, get it redone with locks. Um, I know people that don't get, don't go to the lactation in three, four months. They, they go every four months, every six months. So it's definitely easier to get locks and keep locks and maintain locks than most natural hairstyles. I can tell you that. So that is debunked. So guys, remember this, you know. This is Lord Hyder Dads from the Dads Life YouTube channel. 
We want you to like and subscribe. We want to bring up the like count. We want to bring up the subscriber count. And remember to share the videos if you love the videos. Also, if you have any questions, you hit me up in the comments. Because guess what? We're back in. That's that YouTube channel, Heavy in the Streets. Coming to you again. You don't know 2024, 2025. We're hitting them hard. A video a week. A vi two videos a week. That's the way we're coming. So look out for it. Look out for the descriptions. And also follow me on Instagram. You don't know. Lord hide the dads on Instagram. So make sure you're linking up with the dads. Make sure you're asking the questions if you have any questions. And big up on yourself, people. You don't know. Lord hide the dads every time. Boom. Life of Dads of Dads Entertainment. Yeah. Dads and dads. Check. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Cause this is the life of a dad. I'm a father in the game like a dad. And I'ma show.